This family adopted a Doberman from the shelter, and after five days, the parents heard a scream. In every person's life there comes a moment that can change everything. We don't always think before doing something, but when we look back we clearly see that everything in this world happens for a reason. Moreover, everything has its own pattern and order. Today I'm going to tell you a story which once again proves that it's our actions and decisions that determines our fate. However, first things first. The specialistic family lived a happy life. They had a beautiful house, decent jobs, and a lot of friends. However, most of all, they enjoyed spending time with their two-year-old daughter, Charlotte. Her carefree attitude and cute laugh made her parents see the world as a beautiful place. All they needed to feel completely happy was a pet. So one sunny day, the family headed to an animal shelter. They saw so many abandoned animals barking and meowing everywhere but miraculously the couple took an instant liking to an older dog named Khan. The Doberman had a strong body and looked a little aggressive, but this didn't scare off this level 6 because they believed that his eyes were full of kindness. He was sitting alone in his crate and staring at all those strangers passing by. However, when the couple seemed to have made their choice, the shelter employees were a bit discouraging. It turned out that Khan had already been taken home by several families, but they always brought him back because of various reasons. Even though he was obedient and kind, the employee still recommended choosing another dog. However, Catherine and her husband didn't hesitate for a minute. They accepted him into their family against all odds. Little did the spouses know that in less than a week's time, something would change their attitude to the newly acquired pet forever. I remember the day we brought Khan from the shelter. Surprisingly, he quickly made himself at home. At first we were afraid to let him near our toddler, but then we realized that he wouldn't harm her. We saw that he was sincere and kind, and he infinitely loved each of us, the head of the family admitted. The dog lived both inside the house and in the yard at first. Catherine and Brian were afraid to leave him in the yard, thinking that he might run away. However, it soon became clear that he wasn't going to escape because he grew fond of his new home. He became especially close to Charlotte. They spent a lot of time together. The little girl even tried to ride the dog's back and con. Didn't mind. He fooled around with her as if he was also a child himself. It seemed that nothing could break this friendship until something terrible happened. The family was spending their weekend together. Catherine and her husband were sitting on the porch and watching their daughter run around on the soft green lawn. Of course, Khan was there by her side watching and wagging his tail to say it was a pretty picture is to say nothing. At that moment, the Slicks were completely happy and even though Khan was a recent addition to the family, he developed an unbelievable connection with the child. While playing, Charlotte began to call for Khan to come join her and since the new family member was always glad to play with the toddler. He came running as soon as he heard his name. However, just a second later, something completely shocking happened, to say the least, Khan dashed over to Charlotte, jumped up and began to growl. He pushed the girl with his front paws so that the child skipped back and began to cry loudly. The parents were stunned by what had happened. They couldn't believe that the dog that had been so friendly to the girl could harm her. In the meantime, Khan was barking loudly and trying to nudge the child away. It looked like Khan had bitten Charlotte. Catherine and her husband got to their daughter in a matter of seconds when they began to inspect the scene of the incident. They couldn't believe their eyes. It turned out that Khan ran up to the child for quite a different reason. He didn't bite her and he didn't mean any harm at all. Quite the opposite. He was trying to protect the child. My wife and I couldn't believe what we saw. I told Catherine to take Charlotte and go inside Brian, the girl's dad said it turned out Charlotte and Khan weren't the only ones out on the lawn that day. Catherine and Brian didn't know that a deadly poisonous snake was lurking in the grass. I guess it isn't difficult to imagine how things would have ended if Khan hadn't noticed the snake or hadn't protected Charlotte. He tried to get between the girl and the deadly snake, pushing the child away. The dog put himself at risk, but the girl's life was more important to him than his own. As it turned out, it wasn't just an ordinary garden viper, but a real poisonous snake whose venom was deadly. The snake was about to attack when Khan shielded Charlotte with his body with a swift movement. The snake sank its teeth into Khan's skin. The dog began to whimper. He was obviously in pain. The bite sight began to swell up quickly. Brian knew that he had to act quickly if they wanted to save the dog, 
so they decided to take on to the vet. Haven't taken Charlotte inside. Catherine watched the scene in the yard from the window. She saw the snake crawled away and sighed with relief. Khan was lying on the ground and breathing heavily. The deadly venom was slowly spreading through his body. Brian picked up the dog, put him in the back seat of the car and took him to the vet. The vet gave Khan an antidote and some painkillers, but he couldn't make any promises. Luckily, Khan turned out to be a strong dog and he managed to survive the deadly snake's bite. After spending several days at the clinic, Khan returned home to his family. As a real hero. After this incident, the Silicic family began to value their furry friend even more. Catherine believes that the only reason Charlotte survived that day was because of their dog's courage and self-sacrifice. She didn't even want to think that only a few days earlier they had been discouraged from taking him home. Charlotte weighs a little over 10 kilograms. I think the snake's venom could have taken her life. I am so glad that we decided to take Khan from the shelter even though it wasn't an easy decision to make. He is now a true member of our family. He is an incredible thing for us, Catherine says. Sometimes it's just unbelievable how brave animals can be and what they are ready to do for their human sake. It is with their self-sacrifice, love and natural instincts that they teach us kindness, often rescuing us even at the cost of their own lives. So that's the story, guys. If you have long dreamed of having a dog or another pet, but you're still hesitating, then perhaps the story of this Felicity family will help you make up your mind, and that's it for today. Comment on our story. Do you think animals make conscious decisions to save people at the cost of their own lives? See you soon, bye.